this tutorial, I'll be showing you what a CMS is, content management system, which is basically used to update and store text on your website. Um, and I'll be showing you what the system is and how you can manage your content, how you can easily update your content on your website so that you, as the owner of the website, can quickly change out a date or some text or an image, the things that need to be quickly and easily updated in any business or organization on their site. So that includes images, text, link to videos, any content that's on your site that really um, needs to be updated on an infrequent or frequent basis that should be able to be updated. That enables you to update your website quickly and effortlessly. So, so some terms to know as I'm going through this tutorial, a CMS is a content management system. A CMS user just correlates to someone who will be updating the website. A content editor is the same, just a person who's going to be updating the content on the website. And Perch is the CMS system that we're going to be using. It's like WordPress or Drupal, if you've ever heard of either of those terms but it's very easy and efficient and I'll show you how to use it. So let's just jump into the demo now. I have a website up and running here that has Perch tied into it so that you can get in and update, update the content. So you can see uh, we're on one of the pages, we're on the about page right here. There's a title, there's some intro text here. If I scroll down on the page, there's a mission statement, there's a bunch of more text, a button, a link there, there's a few testimonials. Um, these are all pieces of content that should be be able to be updated by the owner of the website without having to come back to um, Inspira Designs and say, hey, we need to update this text. Um, instead of that process, this enables you to just be able to update it yourself. So what we're going to do is on a site that Perch is installed or CMS is installed, is we're going to go to the website name. So I'll take dayspringdanceministries.org as an example and then just do slash perch. This will bring us to a login screen. And you can go ahead and type in your username and password that's provided by Inspira Designs. And it will bring you to this page here the pages page, which lists all the pages on the website that have content that can be updated in the CMS, the content management system. So on the left here we have a list of all the different pages that can be updated and on the right column we have a list of the pieces of content that can be updated. So for example I'm going to jump back to the visual of the website on the about page and we, as I said, we have a header, we have some intro text, um, and this is on the About page. So let's jump back into Perch, and we go to About. We see there's a header, there's a mission statement. So let's update, let's say we want to update the header. Click on there. You can see the title is here, About Days Bring Dance Ministries, which is this text here. And we have some content here, content block here, and this is called a WYSIWYG editor, and that's what's displayed down here. So if I went in and I wanted to say, um, let's say, I'll add a line about the location, I'll hit save. Now the great thing about this system is that it updates the website automatically and instantly once you hit save. So if I go back to the website and hit refresh, we're going to see that that text showed up instantly on the web for everyone to see. If someone hits it on the other side of the world, they're going to see this updated content now, which is excellent. So if I come back, I'm just going to revert that change and say I didn't want that. Save. Go back to the page and refresh and it's gone. Cool. So that was quick and easy to update some content. Let's say I wanted to get back to the pages view. I could just click up here on pages. Now we're back to, I'll say, the home screen. Um, another piece of content we can enter on that page is the mission statement. So I'll pop into there. Again, this is the title here. 
and this is the bit of content which is here so again if we wanted to update this we'd do it in the same fashion um, there are ways to you know kind of make some text bold um, italicize some text uh, my suggestion is not to get too crazy with the design elements or rather the design tools up here obviously you know if you need a list that's doable you save that and it'll update on the website um, so there's those basic functions to provide some flavor to your text and design um, my suggestion is always not to get too crazy with those things uh, because the websites are designed in a custom in a tailored way as you can see you know, nice background image the text size is uh, you know appropriate for the amount of text and what's presented here uh, obviously that can be you know increased or decreased without um, creating any issues on the site but my suggestion is always to keep uh, the design as far as you know lots of tables and lists and uh, not too just don't have too much crazy stuff on the page not too many images um, just simple is usually best when you're dealing with content but having said that this allows you to to edit and update your content as you need it so I'm just gonna undo all those changes that I just did for the sake of this example I'll just save that out I'm gonna jump back to pages um, and as you can see I'll jump back to the website on the visual end if I scroll down a little more on here we have a testimonial section now if you noticed if I go into perch about hmm there's a page header there's a mission statement but I don't see testimonials now if we go up two lines to shared I see it here testimonial entries and what that is is if I go to another page on the site Try history. It may not be on here. Let's try offers. So this is another page. And yep, it's on the what we offer page as well as just the about page. So this is what we offer page. I'm going to jump back to the about page. You can see that that same bit of content, the testimonials, are listed on multiple pages. So any piece, uh, any design element, or any piece of content that is used on the multiple pages, that is the same thing. We just want to kind of plot that same element onto several pages. That can be a piece of shared content, which means that it's the same content. You just want it on multiple pages, but you can update it in a single place. Now, I just clicked on testimonial entries under shared, and as you can see, this is kind of custom built for what the testimonial section needed to be. So it's a quote. It's the um, the author, the person who is quoted, their title, their location. Uh, in this case, the church that they're from, and then the town and state. And that that can obviously um, be customized per instance. The first and the third are kind of following that same format. The uh, the one in the middle has a little different um, format. They don't have the town and the, uh, the state, but that's fine. The bottom line is there's four lines available to be used. Uh, any string of text can go in those four lines. So if I jump back to Perch, and we see that there's items going on here. Now this is something new as well. And these are called uh, shared regions, as I said, because this is a piece of content that can be edited in one place, but used on multiple pages of the website. And that decision on which pages it's used is made during the design process. So that's already set up. So you don't have to, you're not going to be able to, and you don't have to worry about uh, adding um, this content to several pages. The template's already set up, and you're just being able to edit that content on the pages that were des designed and decided on during the design process. So if we want to, we can edit some content here. I'm just going to put a test here. 
And let's just say I'm just going to add an exclamation point just for an example at the end of each line. Obviously, that's not something that we would want in the real world, but this is just for example's sake. I'll just edit item 1. I'll hit Save Changes down at the bottom. You can see the save bar kind of follows you around the site in Perch where you're able to edit a page. So I'll go back to the website now and we should be able to refresh the page and we can see that our test one two three showed up our exclamation points are there so we know that this is working as planned so back into perch the other thing about items in this case this is uh, not only a shared region as I said, we can use it in multiple places, but it, it, also, it is also an itemized list, which means that we can reorder those items. So let's say I entered Pastor Richard Saladon's entry before Reverend Jones' entry, and I want to swap those. I want Reverend Jones to be first on the left. That's quick and easy. I can go to reorder. I can go on the right here drag this, just move it up. Now item 2 is before item 1, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to swap those. Now I'll hit save. Now I'll come back to the website. I'll refresh. And again, remember every time you make an update to hit your refresh button to see it on the website. It won't happen instantaneously without you refreshing, but it does happen in the background instantaneously. You just need to refresh to see it. So as we can see, the first two items are now swapped. And we can come back into Perch. And what I'll do is just I'll back those changes up. So I'm just going to switch those back to the way it was, for example's sake. One other thing to note about the reorder function is that you're only seeing the text item 1, item 2, item 3. If you had a longer list, obviously it's not going to be as easy to know which item is the one that you want to switch. So what you'll need to do, and I'm going to pop back into, to get back into the testimonials, you can click on regions, or if I just go back, oh, and let me go back. So you can click on regions and then just testimonial entries, you can kind of back your way that way. Um, or So we can click on testimonial entries right here to go back to the, the list of items. And what you'll need to do to know which item you want to swap is just note which one it is as you're going through. So let's say you had, you had a longer list and it ends up being that item 2 and item 3 you wanted to swap. Uh, well, you would just determine by whatever text you have in here, right? Whatever text you have in that item, you determine which ones you want to switch to reorder, and then you say, okay, I want to switch two with three or two with five. And you just make that mental note to yourself. Then you click on reorder, and you know exactly which ones to swap because all you're seeing here again is item two, item three, item one. Okay? So I'll save this. I'll come back to testimonial entries. And as you can see, this is kind of a you know, you have a little navigation here to kind of navigate within the section that you're in. You can go all the way back up to the pages view, which is kind of the home screen. For now, I'm just going to undo this test content that we did in here. Get rid of these exclamation points quickly, easily. Let's see. Now, if you notice, it gives me an option both at the top here and at the bottom. I can save and add another. Which means, in this case, since this has multiple items, if I wanted to add another, I can hit save and add another. I scroll down. Now there's a new item, item 4. And I can go in and enter some content there. Save it out. Check the website. See how it updates. Now in certain instances, such as this one, this particular space was designed for just three elements across. 
if you entered another, it would pop down kind of below it to the left, but it's not going to look as clean because that wasn't accounted for in the design. So in, the, in, in this case, the scope uh, determined that there would be three testimonials across the board, and those three would just be updated. So if you absolutely needed to, I mean, you could add a fourth one, it would show up on the website, but again, um, from a, a design perspective and to keep your website optimal quality and looking as clean as possible, uh, you want to take those things into consideration on your site uh, and just make sure that, you know, even if you could technically add another item, you want to ask yourself, you know, is that the best thing? Is Was this planned for? Is it, you know, in, in this case, is it going to just add another box down here and kind of look like a sore thumb sticking out there? Um, or is it going to be okay? So that's a consideration you want to take as well. But for now, for example, sake again, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this item. And this is a good example to show you as well. If you have an item that you just want to delete entirely, just go to the delete button and hit yes. Now, obviously, you want to be very careful whenever you're going to any delete button in the system. Um, once something is deleted in terms of the content, um, it's not possible to get that content back. So you always want to be sure that whenever you, you're clicking delete, and before you click yes, this is nice that it gives us that option for confirmation, you want to make sure that that is indeed what you want to what you want to do. And in this case, I know it is. This is a test item I just created. The content's actually blank, so that's even better. I know I'm not losing anything here. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. It's going to save and update. Okay, so if we go back to pages, so I showed you the about page first. We updated the page header to the mission statement. I showed you a shared region in the testimonial entries, and that's what we were just in for the last few minutes. Another shared entry is this notification bar. For instance, on this site, this has a, a bar that kind of follows you around the site and gives you a useful notification and the content entry person, the CMS user, can go ahead and update this text. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us, and we'll be happy to reach out and help. God bless.